I don't really know. I don't know what formative assessment is. Knowledge learned in a classroom. Formative assessment is a process that teachers use to get feedback from students. The checks that we do perpetually on knowing where our students are. An ongoing process throughout the entire year. To assess the students on what they've learned. Direct immediate feedback. For a continuing conversation towards academic excellence. I do not know I. It's fun. We need uh, feedback, whether it's teacher, whether it's student, and when we get that feedback, um, it helps us kind of recenter our goals and move forward. To make sure that a student knows where, where we're at, to know where we're going. Formative assessment really helps out a lot with letting us know whether the students are fully getting the information and helps us um, guide our instruction and what type of modifications we might need to do. We like that as students because it tells you like how good you're doing. I believe that they study the information and they see what um, the if the students know what they're learning. This allows them to make some changes, to improve upon what they've already started or maybe even rethink or restart. We try to meet the students where they are realizing that we have a limited amount of time. Knowing about your children, knowing what their strengths are, knowing what their choices are, really lends itself to a more joyful, motivated classroom. It's great for kids, it's great for teachers. I've taught a long time, and it's much more fun to teach now. Really and truly, if you're going to improve schools, and we're, we're a living example of this, it has to be done in the classroom by the teacher, and it has to be student by student. We just clicked over the 60th percentile. So that, that for us uh, is, is j just represents monumental achievement, monumental proof that, that it's working. Assessment drives good instruction. So I think the more we engage students in understanding why what they're learning matters, why the classroom works as it does, so that they have input in how the classroom works, and then moving on to assessment so that they understand this really is a way for me to find out whether I'm going to be successful tomorrow. So uh, what, what the realization is, is that we're not doing this for assessment purposes, we're doing this for instructional purposes, that's the driver. The assessment is key to, as a strategy for improvement, you actually can't get wide-scale improvement if you don't have a sound assessment strategy linked into improvement. You can use that for formative assessment. You can talk to every kid in every class every day in order to get them moving along, as well as get valuable information for yourself about who has mastered what skills and concepts. This gives you the power to differentiate for each of those individual students based on the feedback that you're getting from each of them. So when a teacher is checking in with each student like this every day, they've got a lot more information to go from. No longer does a teacher need to wait until that summative assessment, that final exam or that end of unit exam to know where the students are at. They have all sorts of information and data in front of them to know where each kid is in their understanding and their mastery of these objectives. Paul Black and I have been working on formative assessments since about 1984. We've been working on a variety of research projects. I was involved in mathematics and he was working in science education. And we were exploring the use of assessment to uh, help improve students' learning rather than just to measure it. And what we found was that the, the evidence was that if, you, if teachers did these formative assessment practices consistently, then students' achievement would rise substantially that when teachers do a formative assessment effectively, students learn at roughly double the rate that they do without it. So you are really talking about achieving one year's learning in six months through the use of a formative assessment. The reason that teachers find it so difficult to change what they do in the classroom is because they have a lot invested in the routines that get them through the lesson. Teachers are very practiced at stitching together these mini episodes that make a lesson a good lesson. And it's very hard to change that. It's a bit like asking a golfer to change their swing in the middle of a tournament. You're asking teachers to change what has been successful for them in order to be more successful. It's very hard to do, but the research shows very clearly that if you are serious about raising student achievement, there are no quick fixes. It, you aren't going to do it by changing class size. You aren't going to do it by changing school structures. It's about what happens day in, day out in the classroom that makes a big difference.